Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all. Today, I am talking about Ultraman Rising, a Netflix animated movie. Um, in, in, in this movie, we are pretty much following um Ken Santo. We see him from his, from his childhood, and we get um to a, um, he's an adult, and you see him with his, with his childhood with his family. You find out that his father is actually Ultraman, as the superhero. And he loves his dad. He loves up to his dad. He also loves baseball. You know, he loves, he loves, you know, he loves his mom. And so his father, being Ultraman, knowing he can't do this forever, and he sees in his son who loves Ultraman as well. So he's want to know where his son's mind is. Just, are you ready to take on the mantle like, in a way? And his mother just do. He's just a kid. Like, like calm down. But he just want to know. Like, just, you, which which do you love more, baseball or being Ultraman? Well, things happen. The family has to separate. His father stays behind in Japan to protect the city from the, from, the, from, the, from the kaiju. And he goes to America with his mom. He, and as a child, all he wants to know is why his father chose the monsters instead of him. So he, he kind of, in a way, kind of has a, a hatred for Ultraman because he feels as though his father chose the monsters over him and his, and his, and his family. And so he just becomes a baseball player. He, he play, he, he's a baseball player in America. He, I think he um, plays for the LA, LA um, Dodgers. And that's what, he, that's what he does. But circumstances happen. His father can't be Ultraman anymore. His mom disappears. And he's forced to come back to Japan. And not only come back to Japan, but leave his, his baseball career in America and become a baseball player in, in, um, in Japan a, 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 as, as a giant and also be Ultraman too. And there's two things... He doesn't really. I mean, he does love baseball, but he did. But he, 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 he was happy in, in America, living, living his life. So now he's he coming back here with a little bit of attitude, a little bit of cocky. He feels as though he doesn't need anybody. The Giants have been failing for a long, long time. So he feels as though with, with his skills and his abilities and his, being an all star in America, he's gonna come in to save the day. And you don't have to worry about nothing. The, the team can just jump on my back. I got, I got this. And, if, and just forgetting how much teamwork it is. And then as Ultraman. Since he didn't really want to do this in the first place, he kind of doing it halfway. I mean, he he he's like he's trying, but he's not. But his heart's not really in it. He doesn't really want to do it. He doesn't understand. He's still mad at the fact that he had to do this in the first place. So that all that's reflected on how he's like fighting the monsters as well, as well too. And, but in the process of him of, of, of him trying to be Ultraman, and also be a baseball player, he's he's struggling with the, base, the baseball thing, trying to learn learn this new way of, of doing things. I mean, he has the skill and the capability, but he doesn't. That, they, but he doesn't like. He's not a team player. He's not really working well with everybody else. He feels like he got to do everything by himself. He's because he's things though. He kind of looked down on all of them. He because um, they were losing for so long, and so if he feels though they need him, and that he's just going to save the day and everything's fantastic. So he doesn't really try to get to know anybody. He doesn't really work well with the other people. He, just, he thinks he's just going to come in and make a whole bunch of home runs and call it a day. I just, I just, it was just just insane. And so when he finds a, a, a baby kaiju. He realized that he can't be the star all the time. That somebody else, he got to care about somebody else's needs instead of his own. And, he, and also, he, he knows that he can't do everything by himself. He has, when he gets help, he, he needs to get help. He needs, he needs help. He also, he also got to be ready to listen to other people when he needs help as, as well, too. And then you had the bad guy in here. Well, I guess you could say. I want to say he's the bad Well, sort of, he's the bad guy. But you got Dr. Anda here who's trying to kill all the kaiju. Because you got Ultraman, he fights the kaiju to save the city. Yes, but he's not trying to kill the monsters. He he realized th these are just animals who got confused and maybe a little lost. Maybe they were they were fishing or they were hunting, and this thing know they got drawn to the city, and the things this messed up things happened. I'm just going to help them go back home, and everything be fantastic. Just fight him a little bit, chase him off, and that's it. He pretty much all, he, all Ultraman is pretty much he's like, he's the guy with the broom. Who's trying to shoot off the raccoon off the girl with the porch? I shoot you. Get out of here. Go, 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 go away. Go away. Go, 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 go away. And then the raccoon finally leaves. He said, See, problem solved. Problem solved. Everything's, everything's good, people. Everything's good. No one's getting rabies. Everybody's happy. We, we can go back home now. The raccoon is gone. And that's pretty, much, that's pretty much what he does. But then you got Dr. Ando over here. He sees a, con, a kaiju as giant monsters who cause a lot of destruction. And they do. And they do. And so. He says, not only are we going to kill this monster, but we're going to find every single other monster and we're going to kill them too. We're going to find their home planet and be able to kill them. And even if we had to torture these animals to find the, the, where they come from, we will do that. Whatever we got to do to stop this, to stop this, to save the day, we got we to gotta save this earth for, for the humans. This is not, this is not for, the, for the kaiju. This is for us. And they have to go. 
They caused way too much destruction, and you understand where he's coming from. I mean, he lost loved ones along, uh, during the process along uh, on the way. Ultraman didn't, didn't save so, someone he really cared about, and so you can see the hatred and, 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 and also different opinions on, on, on from, from from either side. You also can understand where either, where either side is coming from. One trying to save the day by, by causing a balance between both without killing and hurting any anyone. Other ones said you got to kill them all because so, so, the things though they're gonna keep coming back. Like this, I shouldn't have this job. This job is not necessary, but we need this job because the monsters keep coming. So if we, if we kill all the monsters, no more problems. And so you so you see these two uh, two people fighting between one another, and you also seeing Ken learning how to pretty much be a father in a way when he, when he raising his little because he, he finds a baby kaiju and then he raises this thing, teaches teaches teaches. Teaches the best way he knows how to, and in the process, it also reflects how he how he is with the people on his baseball team as well too, because he because he because he thinks though he needs help with this child, and he also realizes he can't just save the team all by himself. He needs other team members to work alongside him, make sure the the team works well. And you see him like learning these lessons along the way and learn how to balance both stuff. Just like his father kept saying, the balance. He, 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 my, my job is to be able to help keep the balance, and he learns how to keep the balance in his life as, as well as a as a as a as a son, as a hero, and also in a, in a way kind of like, like a father, and, and and a teammate, finding the balance within that. Overall, it's a it's some cool action scenes in here. I, I really didn't. I'm a, I thought it was pretty cool to watch. Some nice heroic moments that I really didn't enjoy. Especially with him fighting alongside his father as well too, and finally understanding what his father, the sacrifice that his father made, went through to, to be the hero that he that, that he had that had been to become. Finally understanding that as well too, and as the funny moments in here that I, I did enjoy, and, and the kaiju which is just a cute little little monster that you that you that you really rooting for as well as well, so that you actually feel sorry for for the for the, for the kaiju because it uh, uh, because you because it's just a lost child. Looking for a place to, to call his home, and you actually you actually care about the, the relationship they have between one another as, as well too. Even the kaiju messes up, you, you feel sorry for it because you understand where it's coming because it's just a baby. It doesn't quite understand what's going on in the world as as well too. So it's a fun, cute little family movie. Everybody can enjoy. Kids can enjoy this. Adults can enjoy this as well too. I highly recommend it. It's giving me a grade. I'm I'm giving it a solid B. I'm giving it a solid B because I didn't really have. Anything bad to say about the movie? I, 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 nothing really bad to say about it. Not, not, not really. I mean, well, well, if I was say something bad about it, I would say that there, 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 there are a couple of fake outs in here that I wish they, did, I wish they, did, they, they didn't do as well too. It also sets things up for a second movie that, that hopefully it gets made. We was hopefully because not that was kind of suck because because it kind of because because the film leads up to something that might happen for a, a second film that, that happens. Ho hopefully it does. So. Don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Go check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So give my channel a watch. Hit the, hit the thumbs up. Shaboop. And subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. Also, links down below. Make sure my social media, you want to follow me there. I really would, I would appreciate it. Also, to my store, I'll take my shirts and socks, everything else and whatnot. This is one of my shirts right here that I designed right here. This is my um, rabbit shark shirt or bunny shark shirt right here. Many others as well. This is a bunch of stuff. I really appreciate it. Like I always say, in my dreams in life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.